Hello, brothers and sisters of light and dark. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my page. My page is about common sense. I try to keep it down in the nitty gritty under 10 minutes. If it goes over 10 minutes, it's something very, very, very important. And not important to liberals, libertars, people who believe in God, people like to smoke, people like to drink, people like AWOTS, people like DMT. Listeners' discretion is advised. Listeners' discretion is advised. I'm your friendly neighborhood fucking uh, schizo- schizologist, schizo indigo, alpha fucking psycho. Now, I like this woman here because everything she's saying is relating to everything I be talking about. A lot of times we got individuals out there who basically don't know what they're talking about. But you can tell she wasn't born from America. Or maybe she was. I really don't care. But I'm pretty sure she wasn't. I like her accent. It is so sexy, though. She got her bra hanging out and everything trying to attract a lot of minions to her side. But it's okay. Cool. Let's listen to their video. It says right there in the title, Why a lot of pretty girls are still single. Let's get on with the videotape. If you have any comments, questions, insults, or roasts, you put it down below. Alright? Or Kuro Blessings uh, Kiruka. Okay, so let's go on. I'm going to copy that. Okay. Okay. So let's begin with the videotape. That's one of my honeys in fucking um, the Gambia. I'm going to the Gambia. Anybody want to go to Gambia with me? You get in touch with me before August. Okay? Capiche? Capiche? No problems. Uh, and we're also going to Kenya. Okay? Because I'm traveling abroad. I got things on my plate. I already told you before. Real alphas have videos. Lots of other guys who are just other guys. Beta. Beta alphas. Okay? They're, they're like... They're, they're fucking simps. Okay? Most guys are simps. But listen. Let's, let's, let's go on with the videotape. Let's see what she got to say. Do you know why a lot of pretty girls are still single? A lot of pretty girls are still single because they are confused. My name is Okoro Blessing in Kiroka, and I'm popularly known as Blessing CEO. Lots of pretty girls are single because of ignorance and confusion. Okay. Confusion and ignorance. They don't know. All right, let's continue. Many young ladies are confused. Men are not your problem. You see a lot of young ladies pushing the blame on you. It is a men are not your problem. The earlier you begin to understand that a man is not your problem, that is when you are going to be saved as a woman. Wow. You are the problem. Yeah. Some of you women are holding too many things at the same time. Most women are the problem. Right. So you are confused. Some of you women and do not know what you want. All right. You grab so many things that you cannot keep. You are holding a lot of things. You are holding. Look at what. Look at how your life is. See your life. So you don't even know what you want. This one is falling from your hand. This one is falling. From your hand. This one is. You are confused. Do you know the meaning of confusion? Confusion is not an insult because a lot of people do not understand English language. Confusion yeah, simply means nerve. you don't. <laughs> Did you hear what she says? She said a lot of people don't understand the English language. That is actually absolutely a fact, but still, her English is completely off by 50%. I can understand her half the time. Sometimes I can't understand what she said. <laughs> but I love her accent, man. I love her accent. She is on the fucking money bags. I tell you, where is she at? She probably married. She probably she definitely definitely no virgin, though. I can tell you that right now. But let's continue on, okay? She is hilarious, man. Look at that face. Look at that beautiful face, man, you guys. All right? She even got a little tattoo on her. Oh, shit. What you want. A woman who is confused is a woman that does not know what she wants. And a lot of you women do not know what you want. So because you don't know what you want, you can't even identify what you want when you see it. That's why you see a lot of women grabbing so many things that they don't need. A lot of women have preoccupied their minds and their lives with things that they don't need. So when the things that you actually need come, there is no space to put it. There is no space for it to enter. Because you have occupied yourself with the things that you don't, things that are not useful to you. You used to preoccupy yourself. Let it go now. No. You will drag and drag and drag and keep things that are... Some of you are your problem. is because you have preoccupied yourself with things you don't need. Let it go. Let that thing go. It's time to focus. Yeah, every lady claims to be single, yet they are in a relationship. Do you know why they always claim to be single? They claim to be single because they are not sure of the relationship they are in. 
That's why when you say single ladies, even people, all of them are in a relationship, but they'll still come out and say they are single. <laughs> now, how do you expect <laughs> a relationship to say? work? You always claim to be single. They claim to be single because they are not sure of the relationship they are in. That's why when you say single ladies, even people, all of them are in a relationship, but they'll still come out and say they are single. <laughs> now, how do you expect a relationship to work when you are in a relationship you are not sure of, yet you don't want to leave it? You see that you have preoccupied yourself with something. You are not focused. That is the reason why even when a good man is coming into your life, you don't know. Some of you have lost so many good men because you already have things, garbage, that you don't want to let go. Some of you are afraid to be alone. When you are alone, that's when you are focused. When you are alone, that's when you can identify the things that you want. When you are alone, that's when you see opportunity. When you are alone, that's when you see dreams, visions, and missions. You don't want to be alone. You preoccupy yourself with nonsense. A lot of you women want to date every man. Any man that comes into your life, you date. Any man that comes into your life, you keep. You don't select. So you have a lot of men that you are keeping pending. You have like five or six boyfriends that you are not using, yet you want to marry. Release them now. That is why you are confused. You have a lot of like two, three, four sugar daddies that you are not using, yet you want to marry. You are afraid of being by yourself. That thing you are doing doesn't make you smart. It makes you foolish. It makes you confused. It makes you not to know what you want. Many of you have lost so many good things in your life because of confusion. Because you have kept... I bet she got a lot of cream, man. I tell you right now, I've seen a lot of her videos. They are fucking fire, man. Oh, my goodness. If she don't cream a lot on my dick, oh, my fucking God, man. I know she would cream a lot on my dick. I ain't worried about that shit. But the thing is, is that her accent, her accent is so fucking sexy and appealing that I'm like, did she practice what she preach? Where's her kids at? Where's her man at? Okay, what, what the fuck is going on, guys? Okay, what the fuck is going on? Why ain't she more popular than Kevin Kevin Samuel? She's actually literally giving fucking advice. I don't get it, but you guys keep on gravitating. So I don't hate on the hustle. I don't hate on the hustle. I can talk about it. People always look at me. Oh, so you keep talking about it. I'm just talking the truth, motherfucker. I ain't hating on him. Okay. I haven't ripped on him. I haven't roasted him at all. I just think he's he may be he may be a homosexual and he may be a narcissist. That's it. He don't like women because he got hurt. Maybe okay. I don't know. Okay. I know he got into my inbox a few times. Okay. Um, let's get on with the video tape now here. A lot of things that you don't need. You have preoccupied yourself with nonsense with those being. You know when you have those being around you, you be thinking that you have property. That's what's happening to you. Enough of the I'm single. I'm single. What do you think my mind is thinking when I'm doing that? Sex. I'm thinking nothing but sex from this female. Why is that? She's a little obese. She's out of shape, though. But she could do some workout. Okay? I, could, I could get her a body a workout. But let's continue on the video. Okay. Enough of blaming men. You are blaming men too much. Men are not your problem. That's right. You are your problem. That's right. The first thing is to identify what you want. A lot of women, once you get to your 30s, you start to jump from church to church, Shiloh to Shiloh. Do you know why you are always jumping from Shiloh to Shiloh and church to church? Do you know why pastors have open office on top of your head? Because at the end of the day, you jump from church to church because you don't even know what you want. So many of you are running to church so that you are looking for who is going to help you shift the blame on your village people, on the man in your life, on your auntie in the village. That's, the, that's what they are doing to you. They will tell you that it's somebody that buried your placenta. Somebody that buried your father's head. <laughs> Many times you are the problem. Many of you do not even know what you want. Because even if you see a good man, you can't even recognize him. Because you don't even know what it is to be a good man. It's time to begin to find out what is called identity. First is, who are you? Second is, what do you want? Mm. You need to understand who you are before you can know what you want. <laughs> eh? You don't know who women don't have an identity. How do you want to identify? She coming pretty close for them bras to come down. How much milk does she got? Oh my fucking god, man. That's the only thing that's thinking on my mind. Okay? She will be one of my fine dimes, okay? I tell you that for sure, man. But let me tell you something here. She's since she's so much on the money and her sexy ass attitude and her personality and shit. She will be like my third wife or my second again. Oh my goodness, man. But I think she kind of, she might be kind of lazy for me, though. Because I like to move around. I, I ain't fucking around with that health problems at all, gang. Okay? 
But other than that, let's listen to what else you got to say, guy. Okay? If I a good man, you first of all have to know yourself before you want to come and know what you need. Some of you don't know yourself and you don't even know what you want. I'm making this video to tell you to stop pushing blame on the man. Many times men are not your problem. It is very easy for a man to use and dump you when you don't know who you are. It is very easy for a man to trample on your head, tell you to do 50 abortion, 100 abortion, trample on your neck. You come, hey, hey, man. It is because you don't have an identity. If you're a beautiful woman listening to this video today, the first rule to getting into a relationship, not just a relationship, a right relationship, is to identify yourself. First of all, sit down and ask yourself, who am I? Who am I simply means your purpose, your mission, your vision, why you were created on this earth. Then you now ask yourself, what do I want? It is from what you want that you now know what you want. want from a man. It's time to begin to look inward as a woman. Enough of the blame games. Blaming a man is not going to help you. Develop yourself. Leave a man alone. Find out who you are. Wow. <laughs> she told you. She told all you bitches and hoes. That I know you ain't single. Because they ain't really single. Pretty women are never fucking single. That's, a, that's the way she write it in there. And not really single. They don't understand the concept of what single is. Okay, but, of course, um, once a woman says, okay, she's not a virgin, she's not single no longer. Even if she's not in any type of relationship, she's already taken. <laughs> Alphas don't even talk to them, okay? Real alphas don't talk to those type of females, okay? <laughs> but I love her accent, though. So, the moral of the story is that any female who's pretty and you're not a virgin, you're no longer single, regardless if you're in a relationship of any type. You're just trash, okay? You're gone, okay? Especially to an alpha. They don't... As soon as you talk to an alpha and you're not a virgin, either he's going to be like, mm, you do have some nice packs on you. Let me see. And then, okay, what kind of money you bring? Because it's... On the head, he's thinking about asses. What do you bring into the table, right? That's what Alpha's thinking. He might, he might just simp. He might just simp. Then that makes him not truly an Alpha. But there are Alpha simps out there who will take in a lot of females who are not virgins and do polygyny. Now, that's the second step. Polygyny. Polygyny brings in money, okay? You know. So you may run across an Alpha-like type character who don't care about your sexual history, okay? You know? But that's his caliber, okay? You know he's a step down, okay, from the real alphas. Okay? I'm telling you, there's not a lot of alphas out there, okay? Polygyny, virginity, respect, okay, all right? Polygyny, virginity, assets, and respect, okay? How many times do you got to say this? But anyway, I love her videos, and I love doing response videos on her videos. But other than that, okay, you guys are, are something else, man. I love these videos of her, man. I really wish I could never I would meet her and shit and talk to her and shit. And she could be my boo on the side or something. Give me a teabag all the time because they would be nice, though. <laughs> teabag? Teabag? Can you still be a virgin if you got your teabag? Can you still be a virgin if a man got a teabag? That's a video for somebody. Can somebody make that video? Are you technically a virgin? As a male, Okay. if you got teabag and, gobble and your dick was saw swallowed. But mainly a white chick, because black chicks don't like to swallow. Okay. Done? Done? All right. I'm out of you guys. Peace and love to you, brothers and sisters of light and dark. Welcome, welcome to my page. Down the rabbit hole type shit. Um, if you have any comments, questions, insults, or roast fest, you put it down below. Please read my credentials before you run amok. Other than that, peace.